that organisation uh, need to think about uh, moving forward in the next decade with all the challenges that we are facing right now. Uh, you know, we, we, need, we need to address the issues of um, the young talent, uh, uh, talent crunch, uh, people leaving the industry. Uh, there are also other opportunities outside the business event itself. So I think uh, this, this, this will pose a deeper question on um, what is it in for the future generation to, to enter our industry. Um, there's, there's no really uh, one quick fix to, to all these challenges that we are facing, but surely it will provide more opportunities for the industry to be much more stronger. This is my first time joining, but I do wish that I had joined this months ago because as a leader with a team in events, you know, coming out of COVID, the world has changed so much. And I think what was a really good key takeaway is that leaders are thinking about how you support the next generation of workforce. And I think another thing that's super important is how you communicate with your teams and start specializing the way you support the humans on your team. Because this industry requires a lot from us, from our minds, from our bodies. It is not nine to five. And so it's super important as we figure out how to keep this industry going and we sustain the next generation, how we can specialize how we support them. I think one key takeaway from this morning session is that really the work-life balance, uh, these three words, kept resonating amongst all of us. So I think if you ask me really what is the key takeaway for me is that there are issues that we are facing, uh, work-life balance, trying to integrate, I, would, I wouldn't want to use the word younger generation, but trying to integrate the entire workforce in this terribly challenging environment was one of the key takeaways. Um, I think mainly uh, the number one thing is how we need to just have the courage to really rethink about the industry. You know, we talk about asking people for their passion, for their time, you know, to really put into an industry that really requires a lot of effort and is a lot of hard work. But I want to change that conversation of what are we doing as an industry, as leaders within the industry, to make it worth their time, right? What are we doing to elevate their growth, to elevate their development, to elevate the way that they can realize their passions? Uh, I think one of the key takeaways really is the idea of being open-minded. Um, and you know, not operating the same way we've always done, but more embracing the possibilities, right? That uh, there can be transformation, there can be change, and uh, working towards executing events um, in this industry uh, in a new world and in a new way.